हेलो एंड वेलकम टू लेक्चर थ्री वीक फाइव लोड मॉनिटरिंग मेथड्स इन स्पोर्ट्स स्पेसिफिक फिटनेस ट्रेनिंग वन ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ लेक्चर थ्री इज टू नो लोड मॉनिटरिंग मेथड फॉर कंडीशनिंग ट्रेनिंग द आउटकम इज टू यूज जी पी एस ब्लड लैक्टेड एनालाइजर हार्ट रेट मॉनिटर लोड मॉनिटरिंग मेथड इन स्पोर्ट्स स्पेसिफिक फिटनेस ट्रेनिंग एस एस एफ before we go ahead let's recall the conditioning fitness variable for sport specific fitness conditioning is ability of your energy system to fulfill the demands of a sports activity so in type 1 conditioning you try to increase the aerobic system in type 2 conditioning you try to develop your aerobic energy system along with your neuromuscular energy system in type 3 conditioning you improve aerobic energy system plus anaerobic energy system in type 4 conditioning you improve aerobic energy system plus anaerobic energy system plus neuromuscular energy system in type 5 energy conditioning you try to increase your anaerobic energy system and your neuromuscular energy system so these are the different energy conditionings that you need to develop however they are very sport specific so considering the sports need analysis you choose what type of conditioning you need to develop conditioning is an outdoor activity that can be performed using sport specific skills drills or a general physical activity movement in either case you can use a gps monitoring system that will measure the load that is been added for the conditioning activity when it comes to conditioning activity you perform either a sporting activity or a non sporting activity in either case what is recorded is the duration of the conditioning activity which is considered as a load the distance that is covered either in performing a sporting activity or non sporting activity at what speed quality of movement with a walking or jogging or sprinting uh, you cover that distance and how many times you sprint how many times you jog how many times you run and the heart rate monitor at what heart beat do you jog sprint and run now this is multiple inputs that is to be monitored and that becomes itself a complex method to monitor the load for that purpose gps system should be used whenever you are using or going undergoing a conditioning training apart from gps you also need to use blood lactate monitor because ultimately conditioning is ability to improve your energy system to sustain the sporting activity so one of the energy system is to improving your anaerobic energy system which demands to monitor the blood lactate threshold so a blood lactate analyzer or blood lactate monitor blood lactate threshold is measured in a pre test season heart rate associated with the blood lactate threshold in pre test session is used as a baseline level now let's say as an example we aim to improve the tennis conditioning your heart rate monitor device is used along with the blood lactate analyzer along with gps let's consider an example to perform a conditioning activity at 80% of hrr of blood lactate threshold the sample prescription 
described here is the aim is to improve the conditioning fitness variable you try to improve anaerobic system type of conditioning you use a long hiit type of stimulation to improve anaerobic system the work interval is described as 2 minute at 80% to 90% of hrr and the rest interval is prescribed for 2 minutes below blood lactate threshold so your the sample athlete has blood lactate threshold at 80% of hrr so you prescribed a workout to perform a long hiit with work interval above blood lactate threshold in between 80 to 90% of hrr and you perform it for 2 minutes and you perform this conditioning for total of 10 minutes that's how you use a heart rate monitor device a blood lactate analyzer and a gps technology to implement the conditioning training session to improve the athlete's ability to fulfill the demands of any sports conditioning activity so in summary sports specific fitness conditioning load monitoring requires more advanced monitoring method along with heart rate monitor a gps monitoring method is required to monitor a dynamic aspect of sports training like distance covered speed at which the distance is covered and at what heart rate the sporting activity is done threshold training requires blood lactate threshold monitoring periodically in a pre mid and post test sessions to evaluate the conditioning progression a threshold training load is monitored integrating a heart rate monitor and blood lactate monitor methods thank you